My name is Butter Wakefield. I have been a garden designer for the last 25 years and I'm gonna teach you how to create a Christmas wreath. To embellish an already made evergreen wreath, first thing you do is you turn your wreath upside down and secure your wire the back. You don't cut the wire at all to the very end. So this is what keeps going round and round. And then what I do is I just gather different bunches of greens and I make little bundles and then I put them together and go the whole way around the wreath. And I lift the greens, the existing greens up and tie them in, going round and round. I come from a long line of good gardeners. My mother and aunt are very good gardeners and my grandfather and his wife, my maternal grandfather and mother, are, are, were really good gardeners as well. So I think it was sort of in my genes, if, if, uh, if that makes sense. It was sort of by default, really. So I just repeat the same thing over. Each bundle, as I said, is slightly different. I quite like it to be a bit three-dimensional, so I'm always trying to create one that has sort of sticks out of a little bit. We don't want to be average, no averageness. I think it's really um, good to kind of keep the stems a little bit tidy so you get a, a reasonably clean connection when you, with your wire. Generally, winter plants really have, well, a lot of them anyway, have sensational scent. And in the bleakest, darkest hours of winter, when the sun is out for very little time, often in January, there's a sarcococca uh, in flower and the scent is magnificent and very inspiring. On to the last and final bunch. It's just like all the others. We tuck it in and under and make sure it's nice and tight. And then I'll flip it over so you can see what I'm doing from this side. It's at this moment too, I take a look at my stems all the way around and see if they're under control. And I can see that this one here isn't particularly under control. So I'm just gonna tidy that up. Well, that's a bit sticky out too. Okay, so with my spool, which is here, give it one last turn. Before I'm about to tie it off, I uh, extend the wire by about a meter. And then I cut it uh, here in the second is there's a little groove and if you put the wire in the little groove you won't dull your second of blades and then um tie it off so by i go through the wire and then i do that a couple more times and then i start creating my hook which is what we're going to use to hang um, the wreath from So I've gone around several times and just to finish, I take the loop itself and I wrap the wire around the loop just to secure it a bit more, about five or six turns until I feel like it's pretty secure. And then I just wrap the end around the loop. And there we have it. So finished product.